<laughs> it is hard. <laughs> it's hard to it looks, right? I've been getting contacted uh, from just not one junk removal service, from actually a few. That business is slow after 4th of July weekend, and it is. Usually it does get slower. Uh, I've been a little slow. We've been averaging about three to four jobs a day. We're usually in the eight range or seven range, so it has got slow. Um, don't be discouraged by it. Uh, it will get busy again. So I wanted to say that before I started this job, I'm at a garage clean out in Savannah, Texas. So I've worked for this guy before. He's a returning customer. That's what I love about this job. Really cool guy. He had a little gym in his house, if I remember. Oh, he just opened the garage. Okay, he knows I'm here. So let's get out and take a look at it. There it is right there. It's not a lot of stuff. Just a few things needs removed. But uh, yeah, he's he's a gym rat. I love that. And uh, he just got that stuff. So I'm gonna load it to my truck. I only brought my truck. I got two jobs I gotta do before we go back to the site and actually start working. So I'm gonna start removing this really fast not really a time lapse i'm just going to start getting to it okay got to get back to the property to show y'all some i'm gonna load this really really quick garage clean up savannah texas <music> Holy cow, it's hot out here. Just loading it to the back of the truck. Oh boy, it's hot. That was heavy. Ain't no joke. Okay, that was only 120 bucks. I'm like, you know, I'll take whatever I can get when it's slow like this. Because I think what happened is a lot of families go through July 4th weekend and they just spend a lot on food, spend a lot on trips, spend a lot on having families come over, hotel rooms. You know, just think about the expenses you have during July 4th weekend. I mean, I know I spent around 600 bucks just on me and my wife and my boys having fun with them. So imagine a normal person how much they would spend okay so anyway don't be discouraged because the business is slow right now um i've got a lot of people calling me about it and i, I was just like wanted to do a quick video about it okay kind of explain it so anyway enjoy this guys i hope y'all enjoyed that garage clean out now here's a good thing about it those are my customers so i like to mess around with them i've been to this customer's house before and um i told him bro you got to keep your gym area clean because my gym area at my house is immaculate it's clean i sweep up i'm always uh windexing stuff and just cleaning up and uh, getting the dust off of my, my weights and stuff so i always clean up my weight area so when i saw his weight area last time i gave him kind of i gave him shit about it and anyway he was in the other room he didn't come out this time to greet me to say hi to me but the, the point about it is that i'm good friends with my customers and they're uh you know reoccurring customers and i enjoy that so i uh, hopefully guys you can learn a little lesson from this how I talk to my customers and how to be just human with them and be realistic with customers like them. All right, don't forget guys, if you like these videos, subscribe over there to the right side. On the left side, check out my other videos. I will talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.